Hi, um, I thought I'd talk to you for a little while. I don't think I've spoken to you for a little while. When I first started stitching in notebooks, I felt as if, well, I've made my own artist books for a long time, but they're usually quite big. And I've made a lot of embroidered books too. But when I first started stitching in the little notebooks, like this one, I kind of don't know why, but I had it in my head that I had to buy them. Um, I had to buy these particular notebooks and work into them. But then the lady who makes these, where I buy them from, she stopped making them temporarily because she's uh, not been very well. So I thought, oh, well, Karen, you know, you're just going to have to make your own. So that's when I made the little three inch by three inch one you've been seeing a lot of. Oops. Pom poms. Oh, this one. So I made this one myself um, out of acrylic paper, uh, which is really nicely textured. So, but this is another one here that's in a bought book. So this is the front of the bought book. She's called Lily Moon. Her books are amazing. So this is another one and I do have more. You've seen them. Um, so then I thought, well, just make it Karen, suck it up. You can't buy any. So you're best just making one. So I did and I've actually quite enjoyed working it and I'm thinking to myself, what's the difference? You know, what's the problem really? Just make your own from now on. Um, I think the paper, in the bought books is definitely different to my acrylic paper um but having said that I, oh just a minute i've got this this is a wrap off one of them and it's caught on my pen um so oh, <laughs> it's catching on everything fancy putting it by the pins karen honestly hey i don't know so <laughs> The paper is very different to the acrylic, acrylic paper I've used in this one. That's what I was trying to say to you. But really, it's what's going on on the surface that I think is important. So I'm going to put another little book together. When I first did this one, I was going to sell it. I thought I'm going to put a book together and make some little books to sell. But then I get too attached to them. I can't, there's no way I could part with that now. There's no way. I just couldn't bear to part with it. So with that in mind, I think I need to up my game in terms of selling spend a lot of time working on classes I guess and then on my own little passions like this which is nothing wrong with that but I just think oh Karen come on up your game a bit see if you can sell a few little books so with that in mind I'm going to put another cover together today so they start life this is the cover there's no pages in it yet I don't need to do that yet because I stitched the covers as well to cover this um, like you can see on this one Okay, that's just got a stitch cover. Underneath there is this. All right. So I've pieced some paper. Now this is paper, and this is the right side of it. Um, it's pinned together, and I've tried to use different pins for paper than I do for my fabric. So I've tested that it's the right size because I like it to come in like that. Okay, so that the inside covers, front and back covers, are covered. So I'm just gonna. I've got a few little bits here. I'm just going to try and titivate the cover before I actually stitch it. Now, if you remember, what have I done with that ribbon? That's me, I ignore it. This ribbon I used a lot recently in my embroiderer's cloth and also in one of my notebooks. I managed to find some of that that's the same, but without the crocheted edge. So I'm going to use a bit of this because it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. And I've also got some bits of lace here. Now, I have to bear in mind... This is the wrong side. So, from that, it's quite complicated this. From that point in is the inside. Okay. So if I, because that all has an effect on the placement of whatever you're gonna do. And again, I'm using a different pin than I would use for my fabric. And again, here. So I'm sectioning it off, I guess. Right, so turn it back over. So obviously I want something that extends all the way to keep it cohesive. So I was thinking of this pink gingham ribbon because I like this. I've got my windows open because it's unbearably hot. So if you hear any outside noise, I'm afraid it's either that or I melt into a puddle. 
so that much. I'll need to iron it as well. So I'll just iron it. I don't want this video to drag on and on and on more because this isn't a class, is it? I'm sure you've all got better things to do. I've always got so much stuff on my ironing board. This, I'm working on my ironing board. Oh. Messed it up there. Right. So then that can go across there. I don't know if that's the top or the bottom actually, does it matter? But it doesn't matter at the minute, does it? Because there's no pages in there. So I'll pin. Now I'm pinning fab uh, ribbon here, which is technically fabric, but I'm pinning it through paper. So as far as I can, I use the pins with the biggest heads if I'm going through paper, because I don't want to dull them or blunt them for fabric use. Right. And I can remove these as I go, because by pinning the ribbon and I'm securing what these were securing. So there's a lot of stitching still to happen on here, um, especially when I get all these different layers of things on. So if I do that, now I've got this lovely bit of lace here that's an edge off a cuff off a baby's sleeve. And I'm going to put that, so, well I've moved the ones that marked out the front, haven't I? That was clever on me, wasn't it? Just let me do that again. This happens a lot here, this is normal here, I tell you. We'll just crease it a little bit. Right, so that's the fold and that's the fold. Now this might be nice if it went across the folded bit. So that could go there. And it'll look different when it's hand stitched again. I've just been saying to the people in my uh, lace class, because I was making videos for that this morning, about seeing the bigger picture, and that applies to this as well, because it'll be transformed once it's hand-stitched. The key is, for me personally, to not get too attached to it, so attached to it that I can't part with it. Um, that could go there. We'll fold that under because it's a bit raggy there. That could go there and finish there. Move it over a little bit. And then I could use some of this new ribbon. Move it over a bit more. To cover the raw edge. And I'll leave it long on both sides and then I can fold it under underneath if that makes sense. So there's paper in there and all that. Um, so if you're umming and ahhing by the way about lace class then please join us because honestly we were having some amazing conversations already. Stress and is forbidden. Even if your thread snaps 500 times, you're not allowed to stress. And everybody's been remarkably calm. There are credits to the parents. All of them. So what will probably happen is I do this and then I play with it a little bit. And I make sure everything's straight. I come back and look. That's not straight. Either. That's throwing my eye. I come back and check that everything looks straight. I don't tend to measure precisely for straightness. I just let my eye, my eye guide me. So if that's how it's going to be, this is how it'll look when it's on here. So that needs to come in a bit more. This is the best way to do it, to be guided. So that would come over there like that. 
and then this probably too big this edge so oh no that's all right actually it doesn't need to come over that's fine but then the back is pretty boring isn't it all right so i need to add something on here now i like it just like this to be fair right so what i was thinking i did question whether this would look out of place Maybe not if I had it going in two directions. It might just be the thing that I need to finish, actually. So, I could do that. Take this off. This is what happens, you just put things on, you take them off. Let me just pin this down and see. Put that back on. Where's that one? Put that like that, just above there, which dampens it down a little bit. But then I think I need some of that blue stuff as well, just to balance it on the back, because I think we're going to have some storms this afternoon. We've just been out and got my washing off the line because gone dark it's starting to get windy mind you if storms would be good it's been so hot here right so let's and then the fun begins when you start hand stitching this oh see that's still loose that bit i need to secure that bit that's paper this paper is called lace paper and I buy it from Shepherds in London. I know I'm not on commission, I wish. Um, but actually, don't run out and buy it all, because I need to get some more. And you probably buy it all and I won't be able to get any. So don't. It's rubbish really, you don't want it. Tell yourself you don't want it because it's rubbish. And then there'll be some left for me. But it's not rubbish at all, it's amazing. Right, so, I mean you get a bit of slippage all the time anyway, um, with the paper and things, but, oh that's nice, so if I, sometimes the pins stop you folding it properly, but you can get a, quite a good idea, right, so that would be the inside covers, and that would be the back. And front so the front or back would be like that so I think I need some of that blue to balance it out now where am I gonna put that where am I gonna put that maybe I don't even need a lot of it maybe once again I won't pin that I need to secure this but that pin's gonna be in the way maybe Just ignore that, it's me I am. It's telling me it's switched on as if I don't know. Right, and then pin this back down. And this is how I roll. This is what happens, but do you know what already I don't think we'll get a part of this. I need to get a grip on all. And you might think as well, because I'm thinking it. That pink gingham ribbon that's running across the width of this, how many pins on it? It doesn't look straight. And when you get a lot of straight pieces like this, it can show up areas that aren't as straight as they could be. So all you do then is you go back and you repin it, reposition it. See there? It might be this that isn't straight. I don't know, but I can play with that a little bit. And try and sort that out that's not an issue so let's do this again and also actually I nearly forgot as well just let me I need to decide what's the front and the back and what's the top and the bottom hmm so what's 
Right, I apologise if you had a glitch there. I've talked for far too long. I didn't want this to be this long. My um, memory card got full, so I had to delete it. But what I can do there, is I've nearly finished, I promise. Um, well, let me just check again where that was. Here, where that's wonky and it's not straight. So let me... I don't know if it's this that isn't straight. Let me find out. That certainly looks better at the moment, but when I get it, I'll baste it all and have another look after off camera. Might be that I need to adjust it again, but as long as the basics are done and the principles fulfilled and I know where I'm going, I can sort that out later. Come on Karen, get a move on. Really didn't intend for this to go on this long. But what I can do here, just to put a recognition of the blue on the back, so if I cut a little bit of the blue, I think that's going to have to be the top, the other way around because, because of this frill, the way the frills fall in. Yeah, then this, fold it in half. Like that, and tuck it under there. Now I know it shows through the ribbon, but I don't mind about that. It's all part of our rich tapestry. And the other thing there, so if I do that again, honestly, you'll be thinking, why did I switch this on? I've been here for hours. Send for help. Right, so inside and outside covers, and that's the back. Oh, so the blue's on the back now, but never mind. So that's, yeah. Right. I think maybe. Well, oh, that's right anyway. But yeah, so that's fine. So that's that sorted out. So I've established that this is the top and this is the bottom. I want to put pom poms on here. I've got tons of pom poms, and I love pom poms. So I'm gonna, this will be the front. It'll have to be the front, because the way it'll fold. So I'm gonna dangle pom-poms from here as well. When I stitch it. Right, that's it. So I'm gonna turn off, because you're probably sick of me now, and I'm sorry about that little glitch in the middle. 